right guys and gals, so to remove the rear, we're going to remove the two caliper bolts here. Um, I believe it's a 13 mil back up here and then a clip uh, attached, the line attached to the car. And then you also, once you undo that, you can undo the line from the caliper itself. So we'll go ahead and start with the caliper bolts and then put the line up. We'll be using a 17 mil for our caliper bolts. So you can see we've got caliper bolt to remove up here and then one down here. So go ahead and get those out with a 17 mil. Alright, there we go. So there is that removed. So you want to make sure your parking brake is off before you attempt to pull this off. There you go, rear rotor and caliper removed. So we'll go ahead and undo the clip and the nuts for that brake line as well. So we're undoing the 10 back here and then the 13 up here. So you need a 10 mil and a 13 mil and then this will come off and you can move the whole assembly. So now that we've got that all unscrewed, you should be able to pull out your Spring clip there, that's what that looks like, that's what's holding it on. And, woo, there we go. And then your line will be free. Watch out for dripping brake, brake fluid. But there you go, that is how you remove the rear caliper and rotor on your Arthur DG nut. Alright guys, thanks for watching this episode of Gearhead Girl Garage and stay tuned for the very exciting new install.